that's the time when we learn how to learn uh, how to solve the linear inequality. Today we are going to learn how to solve quadratic inequality. Like, for example, if we have x squared minus x greater than 6. How to find the solution set for this inequality? That's the thing we are going to learn today. Uh, we are going to follow uh, several steps to find the solution set for this inequality. Step 1. First, we're going to move all terms from one side to another side. Look at this uh, inequality. We're going to move 6 from right to left. x squared minus x minus 6 greater than 0. When we move 6 from right to left, we're going to change the sign. So from positive 6 to negative 6. And uh, this way, we have 0 is the only term on right side. And the next step, let's see if we can factor this expression or not. So factor this one, we're having x and uh, x. If this is factorable, we will have x squared can be factored as x and x. 6 can be factored as 3 and 2. Since we have negative 6, negative 3, positive 2. Let's try this uh, combination. Negative 3 times x, we have negative 3x x times 2, outer, outer, we have 2x. So inner, inner, outer, outer, we add this together, we have negative x. This active x is exactly the part in this, uh, in, in this expression, so which means that's the correct way to factor this expression. So the original inequality can be rewritten as x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 greater than 0. Okay, so that's step 1. Step 2, let's solve, find out the corresponding quadratic equation and the final solution. So it's very easy, just to change the inequality sign to equal sign. So we will have x minus 3 and x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, that's part, that's, this part very easy. And uh, based on this quadratic equation, let's find the solution for this equation. Very, very easy, right? So x minus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal to 0. So uh, we, from this part equal to 0, we have x equal to 3. From this part equal to 0, we have x equal to negative 2. So which means there are two solutions for this quadratic equation, 3 or negative 2. That's step 2. Solve the corresponding quadratic equation uh, to, the, uh, quadra to that quadratic inequality. So step 3, by using those two solutions, we are going to draw a number line and use those two solutions to divide the number line into uh, three intervals, negative two and the positive three. Those two numbers are dividing the whole number line into three intervals. The first interval is negative infinity to negative two. The second part is negative two to positive three. And then the third interval is three to positive infinity. Okay, so that's the step three. Uh, using the uh, solution uh, from the corresponding equation to divide the whole number line into a couple of intervals. So step four, we are going to uh, choose the test point on each interval and verify if those intervals are part of solution set or not. So now that's a uh, test the point and verify. So let me draw a table here. It's easy to look at. Okay, so here we will have three intervals. The interval negative infinity to negative 2, the second interval negative 2 to 3, and the third interval will be 3 to positive.
infinity. So we will have three intervals here. And uh, that's intervals. Then we are going to choose the test point from each interval. So now let's choose negative, uh, choose negative three from the first interval. And uh, the last step is verify. Okay, how to verify? We just plug in the test point back into the original inequality. So here, negative three plug back in, uh, plug, plug into here. So we will have negative three minus three times negative three plus two. Right, so then we will have negative six times negative one. We end up with six. Six greater than zero. And we want the inequality signs greater than. So then here we will have um, six greater than zero. Okay, so then the second, which means this is the part of the solution set. Then the second interval, we have has the point as zero. So zero is between negative two and three. So then uh, plug in zero back here. So we will have, let me write it here. So zero minus three times zero plus two. Then we have negative three times two. We have negative six. Negative six less than zero. So which means that's not our solution set, okay? So the third part, we choose test the point from the third in, uh, interval, let's choose four. Okay, we will have four minus zero and four plus two. We will have positive one and a positive six. So we end up with positive six. So here is six greater than zero, that's two. So then, which means the third interval is also part of a solution set, okay? So after choosing test point from each interval and verify those, then we end up, we, we get our conclusion. The solution set for this quadratic inequality that will be negative infinity to negative two universe three to positive infinity. So that will be our final answer for this quadratic inequality. Okay, so quick review. Four steps. Step one, move all terms to one side and another side, leave another side zero. Step two, find out the solution for the corresponding quadratic equation. And then step three, use those solutions to divide the whole number line into several intervals. Step four, from each interval, we're choosing test point and use those test points to verify if the interval will be a part of the solution set or not. So then after four steps, we end up with the final solution. Okay, that's the way how to solve the quadratic inequality. Okay, any question? Okay, thank you.